What's up everyone? My name is Evan Brandt. This is my channel Savage Mach 1 and this is my 2004 Mach 1. Um, thought I'd uh, give you guys an update and a rundown and a breakdown about my car. This is a 2004 40th uh, anniversary Mach 1 Mustang. As you can see this is a great identifier right here. The 40th anniversary badge. It's pretty much how you know it's a 2004 model. Big difference between the 03 and the 04 Mach 1s is you'll notice the badge on the 03s look like a regular V6 pony badge versus the 04s that have the 40th anniversary. If you have a GT, you have a GT badge. If you have a V6, you have the pony badge or the 40th anniversary badge. Or if you have the Mach 1 or the Cobra, you get the 40th anniversary badge. Um, quote me if I'm wrong, I believe the Cobras still have the cobra emblem on them with their 0304 but uh yeah i know ford did kind of like the little badging things differently in these models so uh, a few things about the car as you can see we have it sitting on staggered afs 17 inch mach 1 wheels 17 by 9s in the front 17 by 10 and a half deep dish in the rear um as far as the mod list starts to go, um, it's kind of hard to tell in probably in the video, but I have 0304 Cobra side skirts on the car. I still have the original Mach 1 side skirts. They're pretty much just a GT sky side skirt that comes on the car. But um, I went ahead and I threw these on to kind of flare up the car a little bit. I also have some 0304 Terminator mirrors that I will be putting on the car later when I repaint it. Um, Probably gonna repaint the car black, I don't know. I'm kicking around changing up the color a little bit, not 100% sure, or also kicking around the ideas of wraps. So, um, walking around the car. As you can see, the paint is in somewhat good condition. Um, I bought the car, it's it spent most of its life outside. Um, went ahead and got the 99 to 01 Cobra Amber tail lights on here. Um, really set off the car very nicely these are the oem cobra taillights i know it because i did get them off of cobra um one thing that a lot of people don't know is there's the cobra taillights and then there's also the imported taillights so in europe and japan it's actually uh country laws where they have to have amber signals so there is a imported style as well but the yellow and the amber on the imported lights are a little darker um, and they're tinted a little bit differently. Uh, I know that because my buddy Brian has some amber taillights for his Mach 1 and uh, we noticed the colors were quite significantly different and then we noticed his taillights said made in Japan. So that's a couple of things um, so far that are done to the car as well as we have the Borla attack cat back um going up right now we have the stock mid pipe we are going to be putting the basani um catless x pipe back on it and i also have high flow cats that i could put on it as well that i might do i'm not 100 percent sure yet the car does need to get to the dyno soon we're just waiting to finish up an exhaust leak and button up a couple more little things um so a little background story about this car when I got it, it had a bad motor, not knowing it. Uh, motor went after owning it for about a month. And then the car sat for almost about a year because it took me a while to get the money together to get a little bit of a program put together to uh, get a new engine in the car. And since I got a new engine in the car, pretty much had to replace everything. So we got a 98 Cobra block. Let me go ahead and pop the hood real quick. Oh, while we're in here, we'll do a quick uh, review on the interior. So well, this is one of the big selling points on the car for me. Back seats are in immaculate condition. You know, it looks like nobody ever sat back there like most of these cars. The bolstering has no tears. It shows a little bit of wear on the driver's seat like right here and right here. And it's, it's showing some proof of age and some cracks, but no rips at all. And the passenger seat is almost in complete pristine condition. This is a upgraded interior package car. 
Um, if you watch like Justin SVT's channel, he talks more about the difference between the upgraded interior package and the non-interior package cars. It's kind of funny. So my friend Brian, his 04 Mach 1 has the non-upgraded interior package. So his Mach 1 does not have these upgraded head bolsters. It does not have the billet Mach 1 pedals as well as it doesn't have the billet Mach 1 trim bezel that comes in these cars. I went ahead and I also put in the Mach 1 floor mats. I believe these were from LMR. Very nice touch. Um, as far as quality goes, they're good. They're nice, but they do show uh, wear very fast. And it's de depending on your driving style, they do get a little tore up. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to see if there's any other options out there later on down the road when these get a little more beat up. But they do protect the factory carpet very well. Um, a couple of things I did notice when I got the car, it didn't have floor mats. And some of the factory carpet is a little beat up down here. Like there's a lot of wear in the carpet right here. Um, little things like that that aren't too, too bad. I would rate the interior of this car probably like... Probably an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I mean, it's pretty immaculate. Um, as far as other things that I've done in here, we went ahead and did the doubled in Pioneer system. It, I know a lot of people um, are very adamant about keeping the OEM radios in these cars because it keeps them more original. But I mean, come on, guys. If you drive your cars, you like music too. And this gives me a little more play. Um, also, we do have a Pro 5.0 short throw shifter. Hands down, one of my favorite short throw shifters to put in any Mustang Pro 5.0. Um, I grew up driving Fox bodies and new edges and the Pro 5.0 is a very nice choice. Okay guys, so coming around to the front of the car now. Um, right the front of the car is pretty much stuck other than it's got the, um, I put some aftermarket headlights in it. The headlights are on the car when I got it were cooked. And then also it's got the Magic Drift front splitter. Um, this is going to be getting changed up later. I do have a 99 to 01 Cobra front bumper that's over behind my dad, Celine, over there. Um, and yeah, another thing um, that was done to the drivetrain, I also did a aluminum drive shaft. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and uh, show you what kind of goodies have been done under here. If I can remember how to do this, there you are. Okay, so must, must thing to do to all Mustangs are the head struts. Such a huge difference. Um, as you can immediately see, I did the, um, uh, I think I got this off of uh, Maximum, not Maximum Motorsports. I think this is off of American Muscle. This deletes the plastic trim piece that goes over the front of the car right here. As well as we uh, dressed it up, did the Canton uh, coolant reservoir tank. Got the Canton um, power steering reservoir tank. Um, kind of looking a little closer. We did the JLT oil separators. Makes a nice little bit of difference. Helps the car run a little better. Um, we went ahead and I had the um, valve covers powder coated black. I got these. Uh, I believe the name of the guy that makes these is... Um, it's billet something concept something concepts i know he's in florida um i'll look it up and see if i could put a plug in right here but yeah he makes these really cool custom um coil covers so we got these custom ones that say mach one which are really awesome um just running stock oem co uh, coils um tr55 plugs um went with a little bit of a hotter plug since it is in a i know a lot of guys run t56s um great for pretty much any boost application tr55s are good for i think more of like an na situation based off the forums that i checked out um looking at it over here we have the cnl cold air intake i was super excited when i found this glt oil separator on this side as well so we have full oil separation on both banks we have a bbk Dual, I want to say this is a 65 blade or 73 or something like that. 
I'd like to eventually put like a big AccuFab single blade on the car, but this actually came with the car and um, nice little difference. Also, um, it's kind of hard to tell, but when I had the manifold off the car, I had the entire intake manifold medium blasted. So that was all nice and cleaned up. Uh, we're running stock injectors at the time. Also, I can kind of move this. We have a larger, I want to say that's like an 80 millimeter math like a 76 or an 80 millimeter mass, um, mass airflow on the car, uh, stock mass air setup. Um, car is very close to being polished up and done. It does have an exhaust manifold leak on this side of the motor at the time. Um, the gaskets that I got apparently were the wrong ones and they're starting to leak and uh, got some OEM ones. So we're gonna get the car over to my buddy's house in the next week. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get the um, new header um, exhaust manifold gaskets installed. And then uh, we'll go ahead and I have the Pisani X pipe that's gonna go back in the car. So we're gonna make some noise in. And hopefully when that's done, um, the car is gonna be ready to go off to uh, get dynoed and try and get her dynoed on some MS-109. But, uh, Pretty happy. Car's come a long way since I got it. It had some goodies when I got it and I've done a ton of work to this thing in the last year. Um, still, like I said, I kind of give you guys some ideas on some of the new things that are coming that I want to do. We'll do update videos as well as, uh, I've got a couple of other fun little ideas. So we'll, uh, I think we're gonna leave it off at this. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, get you guys updated when the next video comes out and uh yeah so if you like the content you like what you will see uh you want to see me do more videos you have ideas for more videos that you want to see of the car so let me know and uh we'll get it all ironed out um don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel again if you like the content and uh, again my name is evan savage mach one and uh until then I'll see you guys next time